Hey guys, it's Todd here from Prepare to Survive, and today I'm just doing a little of experimenting with new fire starters and, and new ideas that I had. So, the first thing that I had for an idea, and this one I just lit on fire to make sure they'd light, um, is wax coated, wax impregnated, take your pick, um, cotton balls. So, just a cotton ball. You have to rip it open a little bit. They're not waterproof. I tried it, right? It burns. This one doesn't have a ton of wax in it. Um, some of them, I, I'm trying to get the mix just right. This one, this is actually the new one that I came up with. And I'll just relight this one for you guys because I, I only have about one more left here. Is uh, I had this lit on a previous take and my dog was barking the whole time, so. Um, but, this is just wax up to about here and then it's just cotton fluff. So, just a quick hit that. This one. Um, some of the other ones are like this one right here. Is This one was actually soaked in wax for a good 30 seconds, so it has wax through and through. Um, it is not gonna light easily, but when it does light, it'll last for quite some time. I mean, that's that's a pretty good burn on a cotton ball, guys, right there. Look at that. So I'm just gonna let that burn in the background for you uh, while I explain the next little thing that I came up with. So people really, really like waterproof. Um, fire starters and stuff that you can start. Now these aren't going to light with a ferrocium rod or like a sparky or, or any of that stuff. It, there's just not enough fluff on them. They are waterproof. Um, you know, it's solid coated in wax, but just take a look at this. So they don't catch too easy, even sticking them in there. See? Try not to burn myself because of the wonderful Colorado weather. See how they don't burn when you put them in there? But watch this with a lighter. This is what I found was interesting. And it could just be because of how that flame is on there. Um, it is really, really windy right now. So I don't know why it wouldn't light when I put it in there because it just lit right there. Um, super windy. I'm sure you guys can hear the wind in the cannon mic, but look at that. Put that right there. So, now the cool thing about these is <clears throat> I'm just on a deck, by the way, so the fact that it went down there, no big deal, but you could use something like this to get your fire going right and that's going to burn for a while right you could take something like this and if you had your tinder pile right and you want to leave your tinder pile there you could take something like this and just now that's lit right put it in there where the tinder pile is I don't know if it's actually, oh, and look at that, it restarted that, no problem. Now, the other thing is, is you could leave this in there and just set it, you know, we'll just say right there. Your fire starts to get going, it catches the tinder so you're not in there with a the lighter burning your lighter fluid. If the tinder's a little damp, take it out and <sighs> let it cool off or snip it. I personally want to snip it that way you have the same utility and you have another end guys, you have another whole end. Now this right here, if you look at it, this starts to melt, the wax as this starts to, look at that, the wax is melting right there. Okay, the wax is melted, obviously because it's hot, but you know, if this dries again, I could even use this over if I wanted to. Now the thing is, I mean, once these do get uh, 
burnt, they do burn off pretty quick and they break or break easy. But this now, if I really had to, you know, oh, you know what? See if it'll start now. There you go. No problem. So that's the utility of these. It did go on. I mean, this is, you can hear that thud. Listen. I'm going to see it. I mean, that is drenched with wax. <laughs> Let me just look at that. It's, it's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, th these things are great. I mean, I have one right here. And I'll even, you know what, I'll go get a ferro rod and see if we can get this going for you guys with a ferro rod. Alright guys, so I'm back. Went and got my CRKT Minimalist Bowie. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit better on that for you, okay. Custom ferro rod on the sheath. If you guys watch the EDC video, um, you'll be able to tell that this as well as a lighter part of my EDC. So. Let's say that my lighter died because that bick is getting dangerously close. And uh, this is all I have left. Now, keep in mind, this is wax, so it's good. It's a little, I mean, it's wax. I mean, it's, you know, it greases up your hands and stuff, but let's try it here. Now, keep in mind, I don't use a ferro rod all the time. I really need to practice my firecraft more and I, I will be perfectly honest with you. That is my weakest point I'd say um, as far as survival goes is putting into application the firecraft skills that I in theory know how to, in theory know how to do. Um, but as you can see I did have a little bit of trouble with that so See how it's smoldering? You can just... I mean, that's a that's a good-sized ember on there. If you want more, I mean... You just gotta be willing to... I don't know why this... There we go. Now, here's the other thing, too, about these. Because it's all fluff in there, what I did do to the other one I didn't do to this one is I did pull the fluff out. Okay? Now the thing is, that's nice about this, is if you have a damp log, that fluff, I don't know if you guys can hear that, that's a solid wax bottom. It's like a base plate, I guess. This is really hard with slippery hands. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about using a knife for it when my hands are all slippery, but you know what, it's something that could happen in the field, so I want to get used to it so there it is burning away and we're just gonna leave it there and we'll actually check to see that one's still wet you know um, so this is what I've spent my day doing, uh, trying to devise a new fire starting method that maybe people haven't thought of. Because, you know, don't get me wrong, I have in my uh, get home bag slash EDC bag the cotton balls slathered in Vaseline. And a lot of the times I've found people have a problem with figuring out too much Vaseline, too little Vaseline. What is the magic number or <clears throat> how do you... Um, tell and when I first started doing it I'd either put way way too much on or way way too little um, so this to me is great for beginners I mean that thing's still going here I'm not sure how long it's been you guys can check the time on the on the film there but that's just that's my thought I mean these I think are super utility because if you had to I mean they could be used, I mean, it, it, if look at this way, if you smoke, well, one, you should probably quit if you're, you know, actually worried about something happening, because cigarettes are going to be hard to get, guys, and that's probably not the time you want to quit, but whatever, I get that people like to smoke, I mean, I have friends that smoke, so, but hey, guess what, now, that was a regular fire, now you have a way to
to light your cigarette or your pipe or whatever else you have. So I'm not sure what you guys think of this idea. I thought, you know, when I did the long burning <clears throat> matches, the waterproof matches, that cotton balls would be a great thing. The problem that I was encountering with the cotton balls is, let's see if I can get one out of here for you. Yeah. So here's one that I, I did have on fire and I re-dipped. Okay. This is, like, you can look at that. I mean, that's not going anywhere. Putting that in there, in a fire like that, that still didn't catch. And it's wet and it has wax all over it and it, that's the that's the problem that I had is if you just soak them in wax and roll them around in there they don't start um, you know and but when they, I mean when they do start they burn even slower than this but to be honest with you if you need more than this to get a fire going I a, I think you should probably fact, practice your firecraft a little bit more B it might just be too damp <clears throat> for a fire i mean i know i've heard people say it's never too damp for a fire well for some people who don't have those years and years of firecraft experience i could see it being too damp for a fire um you know same token though if you had a little stove you know this is something that i was going to try to melt it on i just took and punched holes in there i need to punch them in the side too but see how i put it out but <clears throat> if you uh had an actual stove, you know, you might be able to boil water on one of these. Now, here's the thing. This will relight. It does take a little bit more time. But once this re-dries up, as long as the inside there, sorry, as long as the inside here, now that it's relit, is there's some fiber material for it to latch onto, I guess would be the proper term, the flame to catch onto really easy. Um, then you should be able to restart it. Now you can tell that that's wet because it, it just did, it just thunked like the other one. So I don't know if this one's going to be able to do it or not. When I go to this one, it looks like it's pretty well soaked. So, you know, these may be a one-time use. If you're using them really quickly, you might be able to get a second use out of it. But, <clears throat> um, that's, uh... That's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to let this burn um, for a minute just so you guys can kind of see. One thing I do want to point out too is this wax that melts off of it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my hands all that well on the thing, but they are covered in wax from testing this out all day. My Zippo has wax all over it. Or not my Zippo, my Bic. Um, and it has plenty of fuel in it. I just, I can't... There we go. Like it's hard. So if you're gonna use these um, in a survival situation, I would use it once and then just don't touch it because I don't think you want to be doing feather sticks or I mean you should already have your feather sticks done, but you know maybe processing a fish or doing fine detail work if you had to make a spoon with your hands soaking wet. So that's just what I would say. You know, I mean that's my thought, but. And the I mean, if you really had tweezers, you could pick this up and you have a flaming cotton ball that will burn for a while. So if you needed to move it, that's the other thing these could be used for too, guys. Um, let's put that on there. Is if you had to move a fire, like you could take this if it was lit, throw it in a can. If this was lit, right, and bam, you moved your fire. And. Uh, you know, you, you don't think about it often, but if for whatever reason you set up camp and maybe you, you don't know the area, or maybe you're you're not the best at bushcraft, having the ability to move a fire isn't a bad thing. And something like that that you can just make a bunch of isn't necessarily a bad thing to have. Um, these are something that if you're going to do underground caches, um, I would probably put a couple of these in there just because they're cheap. They're, they're virtually free. I mean, they're not waterproof, so I'd still put waterproof type things in there, but I, I believe free things like this you should just make as many of as you you feasibly can so let me know what you guys do think and uh until next time be safe enjoy the outdoors and be prepared to survive <laughs>